Hey, it's Lauren from Rustic Honey, and today I'm going to take you on our recent trip to Pawhuska, Oklahoma, to see the Pioneer Woman Mercantile and see all the beautiful sights of the Oklahoma countryside. So come along with us. We'll talk about the Airbnb we stayed at, which was amazing. And I'll share all the tips and info you need to plan your trip to Pawhuska soon. Let the road trip begin. Three kids, four hours in the car. What could go wrong? We're on our way to Pajas. We're taking in all the amazing views. It is always interesting to me to see how the terrain changes, even from Missouri to Oklahoma. If you're on an Oklahoma adventure, that song is a must. <laughs> we stayed at the Windmill Ranch. There was an Airbnb. We actually got started late on our trip. We had intended to leave on Friday afternoon, but unfortunately we had some emergency things that came up and we weren't able to leave until Saturday. We had debated driving really late Friday night, and once we got here Saturday morning, we realized that it was a good choice to just stay home just because the gravel road private drive to this airbnb was such a long ways down i think we would have been lost in the dark um i'm sure we could have figured it out but we would have felt like we were trespassing almost because it was such a private drive back to this beautiful ranch we loved staying here and i can't wait to show you what the little rock house looked like but it was through a lot of pasture and there were quite a few cattle crossings so driving a truck was handy as well on this long private drive there is the best view of the countryside and an old windmill and here sits an old rock house and an old cabin that they have redone both of them into airbnbs they're gorgeous i would have loved to stay at either one of them i also think it'd be really neat to rent out both and have like extended family come and stay sometime and you would basically have your own private ranch for the weekend it was amazing and I wish we could have stayed even longer. I love renting homes and obviously my family does too. Ren here was looking to see if there was a TV. He was a little worried about that. <laughs> but I thought as we were checking it out, I would give you a quick tour of this home. In case you're interested, I'll try to link it below too because it was really nice and convenient to get to town to go to the Merc. I think it was only like a 10 minute drive and honestly most of it was probably down the private drive. Took a while to get back to the highway but we're used to that so that doesn't bother us whatsoever. We actually love it like that. If you're really wanting a like secluded nice getaway that's very quiet and basically feels like you have your own private ranch for the weekend, I would highly recommend this place. I really loved this place. I felt like it was really beautiful and it made us feel right at home. Um, the Airbnb owners actually lived in a farmhouse not too far from this Airbnb and they had two big uh, red retrievers and they loved to follow us around. I don't know if it was just the excitement of having these kids out in the yard, but they played and ran around with the kids all weekend long it was really cute um and the, the nice long drive was perfect for like an evening walk we did go and kind of walk around um get some fresh air that evening as well but I have to take you on a tour of the bathroom because I felt like it was really charming and just a little bit different. It had a lot of windows, which again, it is against the other house, but I felt like it was still perfectly private because they had all of those curtains there, so that didn't bother me at all. It was just, I loved the look of that and I never would have in a million years planned or built a bathroom like that with all those windows, but I think it is gorgeous and I just loved, I just loved that part of this Airbnb. All right, now that we've had our tour and the family is feeling good for a few minutes, I am going to go put my face on because we left so early this morning that I haven't had a chance to even really put myself together. Like I mentioned, last week was kind of a doozy. We had a million things going on. I had sick kids earlier in the week, and so we are ready for a fresh start this weekend. And the sun is shining and that Oklahoma air is a bit chilly this weekend. 
Um, it's a little bit cool, but it's perfect still for running around outside and seeing all the amazing views here at the Airbnb. At the time we were here, there was not another couple um, staying in the other cabin. So, so we kind of felt like we could explore a little bit and walk around and not disturb anyone, which was nice. But I thought this cabin was so cute. It makes me wonder the history. I never did reach out to the owners of the Airbnb to, to learn more about the history of these two places, but I can imagine they've been here for quite a while and they have quite the view. All right, so we're gonna head to town, and the first thing I would do when you go into town is to step inside of the Mercantile and get your instructions on how to drive out to the ranch if you're wanting to go see where the Pioneer Woman films her show. Parking is generally really easy in town too. They have the signage here, and there seems to be plenty of parking. You only have to park maybe a block or two away. Um, it's not a bad walk at all, so if you're worried about that, it's definitely pretty convenient. So we stepped inside the Merc and we got our instructions on driving out to the ranch and just took a quick gander at all of the things. Reese was quite the shopper during this trip. I think she loved all the displays the most and would just like to take the horses and the trucks back home with her. I would say one tip is to get here as soon as you can in the morning and get your instructions. And then the second thing I would do before you head out to the ranch, we went upstairs to the bakery which is a must. There's so many goodies up there. They recently, I think within the last couple years, have redone this room up here with just a little bit of a different vibe and different decor, but it was really cute. And so we're gonna jump in line and see what goodies we can find for our little road trip out to the ranch. The kids loved looking in the clear glass case, of course. Um, so many truffles and scones and cakes and cupcakes, so many things to choose from. It's really hard not to just take it all with you. As you can see, Reese really wanted those little bunt cakes. We ended up with a couple cookies and some scones. The blueberry scone I know we ended up with. My husband wanted the Reese's cookie, the chocolate chip cookie. Oh, and then I grabbed cinnamon rolls for the next morning because I just could not resist. <laughs> it all was delicious. I loved the scone, and I don't know why I don't try to bake those more often, so stick around to this channel. We may have to make our own blueberry scones at some point soon. So we're going to head back out quickly to our truck and just split up some of these cookies and have a little bit of a snack here before we have lunch later at the Merc. The front desk, you might even ask about reservations because if it's a good two-hour wait, you could probably put in a reservation for the Merc and then drive out to the ranch, see what you need to see, and still be back in time for your table to be ready. Um, I would just check with them at the front desk, and it'll just depend on the day. For this trip, we did not do that. We just went ahead and went out to the ranch with our snacks for a while. It is a good probably 20 minutes of drive time from town. It's not super far, but the gravel roads here in Oklahoma go on forever, as you can see. It is just beautiful prairie scenery um, but it does go on a long time so when you finally get to the ranch you can hardly see it over this big hill and then all of a sudden it just dips down and you can see where she films at the ranch here it's got a beautiful view very hilly very windy just like Oklahoma like you would expect but the views are probably our favorite and especially my husband's favorite he was probably checking cows right now <laughs> they had to get the binoculars out of the truck and see how far they could see across the prairie um, I think one thing that's neat is you would be able to see a storm rolling in from just miles and miles away when you're out here. Reese has to give me and the baby kisses everywhere we go. <laughs> She's being so sweet. Um, the kids are enjoying the adventure so far, but they're going to love this ranch house. So we're going to step into Reese's kitchen here and see where she films the Pioneer Woman, which is really neat um, if you've ever watched her show. I feel like in person, this kitchen is so much larger than it is on the screen. And they usually have someone out here representing the ranch and they will discuss things with you and share history, which is kind of interesting to hear them talking. You can ask them questions while you're there on your trip too. And of course, while you're in the kitchen, you have to stand behind where Rhee cooks during her show and take a picture. That's just a must while you're here at the ranch. Um, um, this building actually goes on quite a bit further than you would think. So we're going to take you on a tour of that next. If you do decide to make the trip sometime out here, I would advise you to Google the Drummond family because the history of their ranch is very interesting to me. They have over 400,000 acres of of farmland, which just blows my mind because there are not ranches and family farms nearly that large in Missouri. So that's just kind of hard to wrap my brain around when you look at all the acres on a map that the Drummond, um, that's under the Drummond name. Okay, so as you go down the hall in this long ranch, they have almost like little hotel suites here. 
um, which I had heard before that it's um, it's handy whenever they're filming. I think their film crews come and stay because obviously in Pawhuska, Oklahoma, there's probably not a lot of local hotels ready to go. And of course, nothing this luxurious, I'm sure. It would be the same way where we live. There wouldn't be a whole lot to choose from. So they have their own basically like little Airbnb going on in here with their hotel rooms. And each room is really cute. They leave it all open so you can walk through all of these back here. Um, and it was really fun to just kind of go through and see the different ways that they style these rooms. It would be, um, I think Ree should invite us, right? We should have like a women's retreat or something here. <laughs> this would be so fun. But the boys could care less, I'm sure, about this part. They thought it was cool for about two seconds. But Reese, she equally loved it um, to come and check out all the decor. This was her favorite. She wanted to come and show me this room. And I laughed because the canopy bed was probably the reason. And I just remember when I was growing up, for some reason, canopy beds were always so exciting. That's what I always thought was so cool. And then at the end, after you get past the rooms there, there's the big prep kitchen in the back. Or at least that's what I'm calling this, the prep kitchen. I can imagine this is where things go on behind the scenes to get ready for the show. Or if they're having a large event out at the ranch, then this is where they would do a lot of that prep work. And off of this area, there's a little room over to the side. I'm just in awe of all of those appliances too. Wouldn't that be so neat? <laughs> but this room was super fun. This is like where all of the props live. To me, it looks like it's one of every kind of anything that she's probably ever designed for her line. But um, there were just so many fun dishes in here, of course. Re, the Pioneer Woman does a lot with her, the florals and the pops of color. But um, these were just really fun to look through. And I was really drawn to these colorful little dishes here at the top. I have so much just white in my kitchen because it's easy, it goes with everything, and it's timeless, but part of me with all of this color was really wanting to start incorporating some color into my kitchen with my open shelves. The only thing I struggle with is that I don't have a storage room like this. It would be really fun though, wouldn't it, if you had your own storage room for all your seasonal plates? I always thought maybe someday that's something I'll do is have like red plates for Christmas time or something but let me know in the comments below if that's something you think would be fun too um, that last little room there was just a cute little conference room on the end too and then the porch kind of spans the whole back side of the ranch so you can kind of step out and see this awesome view and on nice days if you can get out of the wind this is a great place to sit all right we've about wrapped up our tour but I wanted to get a close-up of these beautiful dishes this color in particular was really standing out to me during our most recent visit and I'm thinking I need to look at some of that when we get back to the Merc I love they all they have the fake snake out if you've watched any of the Pioneer Woman's cooking shows, you know that she likes to throw the fake snake every once in a while. This is probably my absolute favorite room of the entire ranch though, because um, who doesn't want a huge walk-in pantry like this? With the sliding library ladder, that is like a dream come true. I don't know, <laughs> maybe that's just me, but I think that is so charming and adorable. And we must have timed our visit just right because Ree was also giving away a um, free clothing in the back room so they were letting women go through and pick out something so I found that kimono there as you saw Reese had on after our ranch tour we headed back into town and went ahead and put in our name for a reservation for a very late lunch early dinner depending on how you look at it um, and we stepped over into some of the unique shops along the main strip here so Reese thought she needed the blue sparkly boots which I, I can't lie they were pretty fun um, they have a hotel now in the center of the street too, which I didn't really get to see very much. You'll see a clip of it here in a, in a second. They also have the boarding house along here and the Pioneer Woman collection. So let's take a second to walk around this store and just see all of the new arrivals and things that are in here. Lots of color, of course. Um, I feel like you can always pick out her her signature florals wherever you are whether you shop in her Walmart collection or in the Merc here in Pawhuska you can kind of tell um, she's got her mark on things I loved um, a couple of the dresses there but I just tried to resist since I don't really need any more clothing right now and again that color keeps popping out to me on the cake stand now we're gonna head down the other side of the street and check out a few more shops along the road here I think one of my favorite stores was the Western store with all the boots 
I love the smell of leather. And when you walk into a boot store, it, there is just nothing like it. I absolutely love that that smell. Um, and this shop was super fun. I mean, look at all of those colorful boots. I just, I'm usually so boring. I tend to go to the neutrals, which again, this is my favorite bag. But this bag was like 400 and some dollars. But it was just, I mean, such a good quality leather. I loved it. And this dress... I don't know what I just was like oh this would be so cute even with a, my baby bump that I currently have going on I just loved that I thought that was really pretty and all I needed to do was add some boots uh, Reese also loved the sparkly boots of course and this unfortunately just wasn't in her size because she really liked that too but I told her we would make her a birthday dress that's very similar coming up pretty soon now next to this building they have Charlie's sweet shop which has a lot of ice cream inside and then there's p-town pizza up above and those are two things that we failed to actually experience during our our stay because we ended up eating at the Merc but if you're gonna stay for multiple nights or um, you want to have lunch and dinner you want to time it out I would definitely recommend trying to check those out as well while you're there during your stay right now we're gonna head back inside of the mercantile and we'll do just a little bit more shopping because our table is almost ready so we ended up only having to wait I say only I think we only had to wait about an hour for our table which isn't bad usually sometimes there can be at least like a two hour wait that's why I was saying if you want to go put in your reservation and then go to the ranch um, get there early and do that then that would probably be the best way to do it just to save you some time um, again here is that color I kept going back to it I think I need some things like this in my kitchen but I just love that era that look I think that's so fun um, these measuring cups were also adorable and very sturdy I just couldn't quite make myself pay $32 for them because, you know, I'm a, I don't know, I'm a thrifter, thrifty person. If that was the only thing I was getting, maybe, but um, I thought these candles were also really cute. I actually didn't end up purchasing anything from the Merc, not because I didn't want to. I was also shopping with three kids, which, as you know, I'm sure can be very distracting. So if you're really wanting to go and actually do a lot of shopping, I would take your girlfriends. But I was happy to just have the experience of walking through and being be inspired by all of the displays and all the beautiful colors. And the restaurant was also inspiring. I loved the the baskets that they had there over the lights and just you know the fresh flowers at the table there's just always something about that they served biscuits at the table just complimentary with your meal so that was probably almost one of my favorite parts of the entire meal the biscuits were so good and maybe it was because we were so hungry by this time I don't think they actually had a kids menu we just ordered off the regular menu they had mac and cheese and really good chicken strips so my kids were happy with that um, I got the chicken parmesan and my husband got the beef drip the drip beef sandwich I think is what it was called but everyone was super happy oh and Ren had nachos so we all just did a little bit of something different and shared and this was probably one of my highlights of my trip I could do this every night just sit with my family enjoy a movie and relax at the Airbnb the next morning we had to whip out those cinnamon rolls from the Merc and I they come in kind of like a little bit of an aluminum dish so I just put them in the oven for a few minutes just to get them warmed up and we of course had a full kitchen so we had considered packing like our eggs and some bacon and really having a breakfast at the Airbnb but after the week we had I was so exhausted I was like I'm gonna buy yogurt and strawberries and we're gonna have parfaits and so the cinnamon rolls were the perfect side to that um, I love this yogurt and then I just use fresh strawberries and the protein granola on top and at home I add honey which was really the icing on the cake but um, just when you're on the go the little toss and go cups are just the way to go nobody has to do dishes nobody really has to cook and that to me is more like vacation now before we wrap up our trip we wanted to spend a little bit more time outside this morning after breakfast there's one of the pups I was telling you about they, they just hung out with us all weekend which didn't bother us whatsoever they loved hanging out around the kids they have this huge walking bridge over a pretty big creek if you have really little children it would have made me a little more, bit more nervous on that bridge um, just FYI but um, it is quite a ways still from the house so a nice awesome big yard if you have kids with you and they want to run around this is a great wide open space to rent and I failed to get a video but here on the back end of our house there is a patio space and they had party lights strung so it was really charming at night it would be a great place to have a barbecue with your family and to just enjoy the views even in the evenings with a little fire pit or something so we truly enjoyed our stay if I've missed any details about the Airbnb let me know in the comments below I'd love to answer any questions you may have about 
about that. But we are going to hit the road, wave goodbye to the horsies, and enjoy the road trip back home. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if I left out any information you'll be looking for. I would love to help, and I hope you can enjoy a trip to Pawhuska, Oklahoma soon, too.